Uh, so this is something that I wrote a couple weeks ago or a week ago, I don't know. Um, haven't practiced it much. Um, I just figured I'd record it anyway, kind of as a mental reference. repeated blows. I feel sick, a pain in my stomach when I hear the voice, causing me to remember the repeating of the same word, no. At first it was simply a word. I never would have expected anything more than a sound or syllable to come of it. But the meaning of the word no implies a lack of belief, a definitive answer, one that aims to deny all likelihood of a considered path, a near impossible path. One that I rarely come to find, or even want to make. It takes time for something like that to be made. I don't just wander aimlessly, no goal in sight. I search the crowds for colors, flowers, and meanings, and often I find those, but none of which to catch my interest. Not a speck of the artistic side, the creative butterflies, the one that says, listen to me so you can speak your mind. Stage. I'm staring out into the crowd again. They're sitting awkwardly as I try to regain my composure. With sympathetic looks and tilted heads, they wait for me to find something to say. I don't. If I were to continue this path to sing about you, I wonder if it would burden me too much. If yet another year would be spent dragging my feet down that hill and onto familiar ground. If shades of red would be imagined just so that they could get over the hill again. And nothing would ever measure up to that shade of red. So I hope. So I remain stationary. Like a Venus flytrap, waiting for whatever unsuspecting victim to pester me with the questions that I've heard like a track on repeat. And I don't snap. But it's easy for them to get stuck as I run my thoughts over through and through, up and down, cutting through every bit and piece of possibility. I'm back to ruminating without resolution. Full circle. Still writing the same scene, referencing the same things, and listening to the voice in my head as he tells me, keep your thoughts under control. No one wants to hear your voice. But the inner fire builds and burns the broken tape that keeps repeating. The burning fire is the only thing that heals. And if it's not healing, well, at least it's filling in my gaps with wax, or tar, or glass, until it can be worked out and healed properly, instead of leaving scars. I just hope that the pieces never fall out until I'm ready.